I think someone asked me to do a photo shoot. And you know, they was, he was from, uh, they was, uh, <laughs> it was like a dude and a woman and they were, they were from like another country. And they, you know, they was like, give us, give us sex, give, give us more. It was not what you think I'm saying. They were professionals. <laughs> I'm Dominique Foxworth, and this is Logged In, a show we created about social media because that's where everything is happening. But I'm too old to keep up, so I got a younger, cooler, and almost as fly co-host to hold my wrinkly hand through this world, Sheila Matthews. That's me. Will you be my Sherpa through these hood streets? You know, I accept. <laughs> I'll keep you cool. We'll show you what TikTok is. Oh, it's too late to keep me cool, but... Fortunately, Sheila brought along some reinforcements. Today's guest, a comedy monster with more than 700,000 followers, Lou Young. I love you, Lou, What's because up? Lou played football like me. Yeah, yeah. And also, I was already following him when Sheila said she was coming, so I'm already a fan. Welcome. Nah, I, f I feel honored. I feel, <laughs> I feel at home. Good, so I'm, you should. I'm, I'm, I'm excited to uh, get this thing First rolling. First question, though. 700,000 followers, how are we gonna get to a million? When's that gonna happen? What's the, what's the strategy? I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm fighting, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm really out here in these streets. I, you know what I mean? They, none of these is bought, neither. I feel you. You know what I mean? This is, this is out the mud. <laughs> Got all these, every single follower yeah. out the mud. I've been fighting. <laughs> all my life. All right, Sheila. So there's some topics floating around social media that I'm gonna need some help for you to translate for me. Okay. What the hell is Kanye doing now? What isn't Kanye doing now? <laughs> like from his mules, Julia Fox, and oh, Uncut don't, don't Gems. Start with, don't start with the, the Uncut I, Gems. I, I, I am aware of Uncut Gems. Gems, and I'm she has like the muse. <laughs> I'm happy for him now. You happy for him or her? He's, no, no, Kanye, he's, he's showing that he's not, he's, he's not down. Yeah. You, you know sure? what I'm saying? I, I don't, I, you know what I mean? That's the baseline? I, I, think, I think it's all about Donda too. It's all, we gotta keep, this, this is what we gotta do, we gotta keep him in the light. That's so what'd you think about that listening party that we couldn't hear? Yeah, it was rough. I mean, you know, can we hear it or could we, we, we could feel it. <laughs> you bought the sound player. You, you, you wanna know. The, you're the nicest person I know. Like, I just, you're just so kind and gracious. I don't know, I'm, did you get the Walkman that he was selling for $200? Who, which one of you guys bought the Walkman to get the Don to two? It's what a cool concept. So it's a $200 album. It's like, not an album yet, it's a $200. It's a hit clip. Like, yeah. you get it kind of as it happens. You know the hit clip? I mean, I got album music. You know what I mean? It's $9.99 a month. <laughs> Whatever comes through there is going to get in here. <laughs> what I, w I also want to know about our guy, Jared Allen. All-Star Weekend is past, it's long yeah. gone. But the people won't get off his back. What's happening with that, Sheila? He is the most adorable thing. He said, I'm coming to work comfortable. You can't call a seven-foot man adorable, first of all. That's the <laughs> rule number one of this show. We get this the first rule is if that man is seven feet tall, don't call him adorable. I mean, was his fit bad? I think it was comfy. I think it was affordable. <laughs> you know? Very affordable. He, should, he told me he's a frugal guy. Uh, I, I, he's, he's not, he's not, he's, he's not wasting his money. He's like, you know what? Abercrombie and Fitch. <laughs> Don't do that. Why not? Nothing again. Now, now, if he's using the cologne, that's a problem. <laughs> that is a problem. That's bad. Cannot thing. smell like Hollister. You can't. <laughs> You're really good with words, I just realized. Because you use words like affordable, which is an insult. I don't care what you say. Yeah. And nobody ever walks across a red carpet and they be like, ooh, that looks affordable. <laughs> but look, but look, though, it's like, at the same time, look how happy he is. He makes $20 million a year. You know what else is affordable? Nicer clothes. It's also affordable for him. Uh-uh, let him be comfortable. I'm not judging him. I'm just saying that my little cursory look on the internet appears that a lot of people broken to him is roasting my man. And maybe he's more secure than me. But I'm not going to have all you little people out here roasting me. That's the issue, though. $20 million, $50 fit. <laughs> You got people who can't even pay rent yeah, with $2,000 fits. That's, that's fair. fair. <laughs> Let's move on. Let's transition to the hashtag history. So the hashtag that we're going to talk about today is Black Boy Joy. It's an oldie but a goodie. Apparently it was coined in 2016. So what do you think of, Sheila, when I say Black Boy Joy? I think of that Twitter list of things that black men can't do. <laughs> you haven't seen that whoa, list? Whoa, whoa. Like, y'all can't have Amazon Prime. What? Why? I it's, it's too feminine. I got Amazon what? Prime. I need, I need, I need my package here 
ASAP. There was nothing wrong. I do remember growing up, I felt like I wasn't allowed to smile until I was 25. I think my dad kissed me and my brother on the forehead one time. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? Yeah. Because he's, you know, we was, we was real militant. Yeah, I never, I, 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 still, I still never, I got hugs from my dad. Hold my on. dad ain't never kissed me. And whenever I say I love you to him, he mumbles, yeah, I love you too, bro. Yeah, like, yeah, it's I, like, I, it's like real quick, like, even, like, we don't really hug, we just like, all right. Like a little pop? Like <laughs> all right, bro. Yeah. All right. Okay. It, it love you, love you, bro. Love you, bro. It, it means just as much. It just means just It lets me know that, I'm, he's like, you know. It's a moment. I saw a picture of you at Georgia Tech trying to look intimidating when you was like, <laughs> 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 it reminded me of, me of me at Maryland, just. Yeah, now at college, you know, I was, yeah, you know, was, be tough. I was from, I'm from D.C., so I was out in Georgia and Atlanta, so, you know, the country out there. Yeah. So I had to, you know, let them know, you know, I'm from the city, but don't get it twisted. <laughs> All right, I do want to talk to you, though, about, I mean, you brought it up a little bit, your football career. So what made you make the transition from football to, like, I mean, pretty much a comedian now? Yeah, fo football, you know, football was, was good to me. You know what I mean? It got me a uh, scholarship to Georgia Tech. Then from there, I was able to go to the league, play a few years. But... Just wasn't just wasn't working out. But then, what, how do you go from that to like comedy? What's the? Since I was uh, seven years old, I always said I told I used to tell my boys all the time like I'm gonna go pro ball and I'm gonna be a comedian, actor and a comedian. So I used to say that seven, eight years old. You know what I mean? Like that's just me. me. That's how I, I, I like sports. You know, you have fun sports. It gets serious. For me, that was a way for me to like comedy is like I can get away from it. I gotta be honest. I think uh, Coach Schlu is my favorite. Soon as you get him on, you get back. But you gotta look back at him. Right, just like we playing basketball. Right, and you just here. You just here. So like that's really, like I say, in playing uh -huh. sports, every coach I ever had, they always, you know, I'm a knucklehead or whatever, but they they would they give me tough love. So I used to always make fun of my coaches, you know, if they pissed me off, you know, in the locker room or whatever. Um, then college, same thing. Then when I got to the league, made fun of all my coaches. <laughs> what about uh, your teammates? You were you were there with Cam Newton, right? And yeah, yeah, made fun of everybody. So I mean, you yeah. had to, you had to roast Cam. Yeah, I mean, every everybody got this work. What about um, you? Kind of gotten close with some celebrities because your uh, your impersonations are so good. I know I've seen the Steve Harvey stuff. Yeah, so yeah, the Steve Harvey thing. But that's kind of like what popped everything off. I really didn't think that would be the one to go viral. I was just like, I'm doing these videos. I was like, one of you is going to hit. Uh -huh. That one did. I, mean, I, don't really, I haven't really watched the talk show. And I was just watching. I was like, dang, he don't really say too Like, he says like, yeah, two plus two is four. And they be like, ah! So I was like, I, I could, you know, mix with that. I did it. He liked it. Uh, his family liked it. And then um, they hit me up. History ever since, you know what I mean? So yeah, you said you didn't think that one was gonna blow up. So what's the video that I mean it doesn't have to have a lot of views or shares or whatever, but the video that you do that you like, man, that, that one was hilarious. All of them, huh? Nah, nah, really, really like I'm a I guess I'm a tough critic yeah. on myself. You know what I mean? I I don't like it just it to be just comedy, because I wanna show I can act. <laughs> have a safe flight. I find humor in everything though. Like you seen Friday Night Lights, right? Yeah. When Boobie's crying. <laughs> All right, it's sad, you know, but it's like, we practice. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> nah, like, that is a little bit funny to me. You have fun with it. So you, it seems like you got to uh, study these people for, before you can do a good job doing impersonation. But we're going to get to know you a little bit better now. OK. With some posts that you put up. I don't know if you're ready for this, but this is your first IG post. I'm gonna need you to explain yourself. What's happening? You don't remember this? Oh no, that's Super Bowl. That's so, Super Bowl. What happened? Like, were you there? Were you playing? Were you like? Yeah, I was in. The, I was. I. I told you I played in the league a little bit. <laughs> that mean went to the Super Bowl. Yeah, I played in the league. <laughs> no, we we saw this picture earlier. And she thought you just bought the the hoodie and was hanging. <laughs> oh, so I just crashed a Super Bowl. It's possible. You know, my security. It's a fast <laughs> pass. You could have got was, up in there. Uh, Look, man, you see my, I was 22 before. I was 22. Was I was 22. I was 22. Jealous. Nah, look, that's the Super Bowl. We, uh, what was we at? No, we lost. Yeah. But, uh, it was good, you know, it was a good experience. That was my second year. 
And I was active. Nice. Oh, well, I got an active check. Nice. Oh, I know that's right. The money. So Jealous. it was uh, it was a good experience. You know what I mean? I didn't crash the Super Bowl. It looks like it. <laughs> it do look like you're trying to take a selfie with your friends. Yeah. Like with some people you're a fan of. All right. Next post. I'm gonna need you to explain yourself for this next one. This one might be hard. It's old, like the tat. What hey. are you, you an old man? Hey. What is happening? Look. So there was like a trend about like this face app or something and people was making themselves look old. And I tried it, I was like, that boy look all right. <laughs> <laughs> you tell me who auntie ain't gonna come to me. That's like giving granddaddy, that's like granddaddy Gran right there. Okay, that's, if I'm 70, I bet you I'm getting all 40 year olds <laughs> coming wait, at me. Hold on, wait, wait, so I got a question. What? The app did your face, right? So yeah. you willingly put on a blazer with no shirt on under it? That was, that now, was already a picture you now, took. that was, now, okay. Let's be right here. That's what, that's, that's what the explanation is really needed. Yeah. But now, now as you can see, I was in the gym. I'm, you know what I'm saying? So it's, it's You're in the gym with a sport coat on? No, I'm saying like, oh, I'm, was like I'm a little cut. The, you yeah. know what I mean? Uh, I think someone asked me to do a photo shoot. And you know, there was, he was from, uh, they were, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was like a dude and a woman. And they were, they were from, um, they were from like mm -hmm. another country. And they, you know, they was like, give us, give us sexy. <laughs> Give us more. <laughs> now I didn't even show. Yeah, they have. Yeah. Whoa, what's another one? Nah, nah, nah. I didn't post that. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> it was like, it was like, had, huh? <laughs> it was like it was like that uh, ESPN <laughs> naked joint. Like, oh man. Yeah. Goodness gracious. No, no, no. no, no. There was not a cup. It was not what you think. I'm saying. It's not what. No. No. They was. They was. They were professionals. <laughs> I don't know if that means it's what you want it to be. This is like every, every We gotta get out of here. One, like... one more, one more picture. One that's a little, uh, a little less scary, I think. Press conference, oh, Georgia wow. Tech. I'm gonna need you to explain yourself. Like you went to Georgia Tech, not fam you. Why you got all them wristbands on your biceps and everything. All right, so, well, well, you from that. So I'm from DC, so. There's uh, Joe Hayden, oh, right? Yeah. He's like, he's from PG. So like, we like looked up to Joe, like the way he would, especially when he got to Florida, the way he had the bands on, you know what I mean? Like I had a, like I had like a Revo helmet just to be like Joe. And like uh, his dad and them, they, they trained me like coming up. Once I got to college, I was like, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go all in. You must have had like a pick six in this game or something. Cause it takes a lot as, as a cor fellow cornerback, it takes a lot to get to the podium as a cornerback. Y'all must have won? We you definitely balled? won. I balled. I you remember balled. what game it was? I think it was against Maryland. Nah, no way. I think it was against Maryland. All right, we, we love a full circle up. moment. Yes. I think it was in Maryland. I balled. Um, I, no, no, no. I went crazy. <laughs> if I can remember. I was showing my ass. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Well, I'm much older than you, so I wasn't there getting, having to look at your ass like, <laughs> like those foreign photographers did. <laughs> oh, man. All right, Lou, I appreciate you coming on with us. You want to give a shout out, plug any of your social media accounts, but you got to do it in the voice of Coach Schlue for me. Oh, man. Each one teach one. <laughs> <laughs> this don't mean nothing to, to, uh, no, to uh, Sheila at all, but this, this, I feel great right <laughs> this, now. this is hitting me right where I live. Um, <laughs> I just want to leave y'all with two things. Fear, we don't do that. <laughs> that is all my coaches. <laughs> two, love what you do, do what you love. You get an opportunity, make the most of it. They don't come every once in a while, they come on time. <laughs> and as long as you ready, the timing is always right at the right time and presents itself. <laughs> and I want to shout out my Instagram at L-O-U-U-U, young, you're looking at all the cameras. <laughs> We're growing. Keep it going. Nice. And uh, shout out my daughter. She's in the back. Big inspiration to me. She's beautiful. And she, I said hi to her and she looked me dead in my eyes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know y'all. Yeah, she, she's a little pit bull. <laughs> yeah. I appreciate y'all for having me.